To represent New York, first of all, it's an honor to be in the city. Uh, it's a fantastic city, a fantastic sports town. The greatest thing about it is the pressure of it. Flyer fans are probably the most passionate sports fans in the country. Everything's too important here. The, the stakes are too high. That rivalry between the Rangers and the Flyers have been there for years. The fans really don't like each other. The teams don't like each other. Coaches don't like each other. You know, there's something about the two cities. It's more than just about hockey. This is the preview to 24-7, Flyers Rangers, road to the NHL Winter Classic. The roots of the game are simple. Cold air, an ice-covered pond, and a few friends. Standard, the stuff you've heard. Race home from school, put on the skates, say hi bye to your mom, and out on the pond until she comes out and drags you off. It's really a, an exciting feeling. Most of us grew up playing hockey on a pond, so when you get to go back outside and, and, and play outdoors, and, and really that's when probably when you have the most fun. Whether it snows, whether it's cold, whether you know the hair, the, the breeze, everything about playing outside is magic. Every year, the NHL brings the sport of hockey back to the great outdoors. It's a celebration of the game known as the Winter Classic. Now in its fifth year, this mid-season showcase attracts record-breaking crowds and a massive TV audience. Today in the city of brotherly love, a meeting has been called between two proud franchises. And it's clear from the top down, there's going to be an element of sibling rivalry to the proceedings. This has been a great event in every city. We're proud to be part of it, but we're gonna to come to Philadelphia and we are going to win. I didn't know Glenn had stand-up comedy in his routine, but he was pretty good the other day at the Winter Classic press conference. On January 2nd, 2012, Citizens Bank Park, home to the Philadelphia Phillies, will be converted into an outdoor hockey arena as the Flyers host the Rangers in the 2012 Winter Classic. The Rangers are, you know, 90 miles from here. I heard yesterday the number of games is over 300 games they've played in the history of uh, the two franchises. Doesn't matter if it's baseball, football, um, or hockey. There's always tough to come to Philly and play, no question. Uh, they're loud, you know, they enjoy the game and they get into the game and it's, it's fun to, to play in front of fans like that. The Flyers and the Rangers have been playing each other forever. I think the Winter Classic brings it right to the forefront. And we'll probably have that same going out playing pond hockey with the boys, except uh, it's a little more serious. <laughs> You're gonna get hit a little more. A professional hockey player's life is filled with plenty of bumps and bruises. Add to the mix a history of bad blood, a rabid fan base, and a two-hour drive up the Jersey Turnpike from Broad Street to Broadway. The end result is a lot of hard-hitting business on the ice. What our team is is a straight-ahead hockey club. It's no nonsense. It's an everyday, I'm coming at you hockey club. That's how we've tried to develop our identity. The Flyers have been known to, to be a, a rough and tumble team, and we have good players in there, and we have a good group, and I think we'll win a lot of hockey games. Philly has won a lot of hockey games. The deep, the save by Boucher, and the Flyers are going to the playoffs! In fact, the last two years have seemed like their year, only it hasn't been. What the f As regular season promise has been followed by postseason disappointment. And for the Blue Shirts, 1994 seems like a distant memory. They are two teams destined to face off when it matters most. Two teams who know each other all too well. You know, it's a rivalry. Everyone's got one. You know, they still put their jock straps on the same way. Both teams have made key off-season acquisitions, 
and with a solid core of veteran leaders and young and talented stars, both clubs have high hopes in 2011. I think we have a chance to, you know, not only make the playoffs, but make a run into playoffs. Well, no longer is it good enough just to make it. We have to, we have to do something once we're there. When you go into a game against Philly, you know, it means a lot to a lot of people, and, and that's exciting uh, when you feel that as a player. There's teams in the league that uh, you uh, kind of get more excited to play against. I mean, the Rangers and Flyers, uh, everybody hates everyone. There might not be a team that I hate more in the NHL than Philadelphia. I know these guys pretty well. Uh, don't necessarily uh, like them. Brandon Dubinsky plays like a little weasel. I don't know. He's a guy you like to get at. Sean Avery. Um, we're we rolling right now. <laughs> Scott Hartnell is probably the least favorite player on the Philadelphia Flyers. Tell you what, I, when I played against Scotty Hartnell, I hated him, but uh, he's a great guy, great teammate, and uh, when you're his teammate, uh, there's no better teammate than Scott Hartnell. You could say it's a brotherhood, and you know we have guys willing to put themselves on the line. I mean, that's how it's always been. You know, who knows how long you're gonna be able to play the game? Uh, so you don't want to miss anything. This is a tale of two cities and two teams with great expectations. And the players are preparing to be the center of attention 24-7. I don't know why, I think it's a feeling that looking at yourself on TV is a little weird. Oh, wait. See, that's definitely the worst. <laughs> Did he say he was the best player? I didn't say that. I said, but you're the worst. Oh, my god. <laughs> Max is a <laughs> <laughs> HBO's Emmy Award-winning reality series 24-7 will once again follow two teams for one month as they prepare for the Winter Classic. It is a rare glimpse both on and off the ice as the show captures the dynamic personalities and transcendent moments that elevate the game beyond mere sport. It's probably the first time that we really have a true view of, of what it is like to be on the inside. Tight down here, ready to jump, F3. You're coming into this area of the ice. Forwards, we're getting to the offensive zone. Let's grind these down here, right? oh. Flowers in the cage, down. Let's go back. Oh. I think uh, some, of the, some of the best stuff I saw on 24-7 uh, was, I think, like the ref situation, all the scrums and uh, all the chatter that kind of comes out of that. All of us are just average guys and going out and you have a game that you love and you compete hard at and you'll do anything you can to win and uh, that's something that I think that you get to see on 24-7. You get to see it from uh, the family standpoint that we've got kids, we've got great families and we love them and uh, it's something that shows that we're really uh, real people. I thought Bruce came across as Bruce Boudreau and uh, you know Dan came across as himself. I would think that I'm probably just going to be me. Regarding the 24-7 cameras, pain in the basically, and I hope you don't take that the wrong way, but we really look forward to it. Having these cameras around, you know, it won't be any different for me. That's my usual life every day is, you know, paparazzi and stuff like that, so um, I'm just kidding, but, uh, you know, it would be cool to see the end product for sure. There's some characters out there. You'll be in the heat of a moment some, sometimes with the guy, and you'll be right in his face, and you have all this anger, and someone will say, someone will say like, that's a, that's a nice way of you tied your skates today. Uh, I'm going to have to try that out between periods. It's just like, where did that come from? What I'm really looking forward is, you know, five, ten years down the road, being able to look back. That's what I'm really happy about. definitely a huge thing for the game, uh, for the league, and the biggest part, I think, uh, you know, to kind of appreciate what, what we all go through and to kind of see how much fun we have while we're doing it. You know, we're not out of touch with that. We all, we all know we're really lucky to be able to play the game. 
You know, one thing I'm sure of, it's going to be a great hockey game. And that's really what you hope for, is that two teams go out and they battle and they give everything they got because that's the nature of the beast in hockey. It's about, it's about that physical energy that you see on the ice and that passion that you see on the ice. I think players that, that leave the game, I think that's one of the things you lose is what that feels like when you're walking on the ice. You know, it's, it's special. For two cities and their legion of diehard fans, January 2nd is more than the date of another hockey game. New York is right down the road and they want to win, they want their share, and that always leads to great hockey. It's a mid-season gut check that will help color their season. Blue versus orange, Broadway versus Broad Street, or hot dogs versus cheesesteaks. Take your pick of metaphors. The end result will be four weeks of heated rivalry on ice. Does it matter? Uh... You know, what number or name you have on the jersey, it's just that, that logo on the front, you see it, you want to do damage to it. Uh, there's always some big hits, there's always some scrums after the whistles, and uh, we relish that. You know, bad blood is bound to spill over a little bit. We'll be ready, I'll guarantee you that. We're coming at you. This is the preview to 24-7, Flyers Rangers, road to the NHL Winter Classic. To be able to be a part of the Winter Classic again outweighs anything. They're outside and they're free and they're gonna let it happen. Well, to play the Winter Classic, I think it's going to be a great experience. You know what, I, I don't really care about the score as long as we win. It's a fun game. We love it, we bleed for it, and we want everybody to experience it.